Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome back to Undertale. Now in the last episode, Papyrus promised me a date and I do not intend to ignore that. So where is Papyrus? I mean, I know he did lock me up in a basement and all that, but that's, you know... You need to grow accustomed to the uh, people you live with. So, yeah, that was a good intro. I'm gonna keep that. So this was Papyrus' house. I was locked up in his basement, or in, in this thing at least. I don't know if I go this way again. The same will happen. It's Misty again. That's what's happening. Papyrus once again. And I wasted a whole lot of items. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait. It's right in front of me. Hello. I was worried you had gotten lost. Uh, it sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. Oh god. Papyrus blocks the way. Am I supposed to die all over again? Because... Mm, I wonder what I should wear. Alright, oh, our date. You know what, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go back and kill myself. Well, you may have cleverly escaped from jail before, but this time, I've upgraded the faculties. Facilities, sorry. Not only will you be trapped, but you won't even want to leave. <laughs> What's that low sound? Okay, what exactly has been upgraded? It's a note from Papyrus. Please ask before you escape. When you went missing, I got worried sick. Slightly bone trussled Papyrus. Right. Um, what exactly was the upgrade? It's too small to sleep on. There's a hot dog cut up into the cable. Thank you. Are those the upgraded facilities? Am I supposed to just get captured again and again and again by this guy? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay, before I'm gonna test that theory, before I'm gonna get myself captured again and again and again by Papyrus, I'm gonna explore what's up top here. What are those? Let's play monsters and humans. What? You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Oh, they're talking. They're talking rocks. Good. Okay. Ah, uh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. It still is, old man. Don't give up on your dreams. Ah, uh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. My patience rewards me. Ah. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll just come back and knock a few more times. If it makes you feel good. Oh, an ice block. And you're tossing it into a, the ocean. Can I talk to you? Well, maybe this will be some platforming in the future. So thank you in advance for that. You're delivering important work. Ooh. Why is it dark here? Why is it dark? Is this an endless ocean? Oh well, I think I'm gonna have to um, get myself caught over and over by Papyrus again and again and again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that a few times and then get back to you as soon as I'm getting somewhere. Back again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. Dude, I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you would want to see me. In the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice. You are persistent, but it just won't work on me. I am the persistent assist. And if you think you are persistent assistener, that is wrong. Grammatically wrong. Because the correct form would be not as persistent as Papyrus, the persistent insistent. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. <laughs> okay. The low sound again. I don't know if that's part of the game, but. It's a note from Papyrus again. If you're just looking for a place to stay, just ask. You don't need to fight me. Your host, Papyrus. Well, that's awfully kind of you. Still too small to sleep on? There's a hot dog cut up into the cable. Okay. Well, four times the charm, I guess. You're back again? I finally realized the true reason why. You just miss seeing my face so much. 
I'm not sure I can fight someone who feels this way, but mostly, I'm getting really tired of capturing you. Fight Pyrus? I'd rather not. Okay. I guess I'll accept my failure. No. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. And I'm going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends, what a loser. Let's be friends! Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, we haven't even had our first date and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everyone loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamor, can I please go home? He'll guide you through right through the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> oh, what? How are you? Okay. I can pass through. Apparently that worked. So apparently the pacifist route is a lot more puzzly, I suspect. I mean, I don't know if at this level I would be able to beat him at all. So I'm gonna save again. And then I'm gonna go to Papyrus and see if he wants to go on a date with me because I haven't forgotten about that. And I still don't get why my mic keeps overloading. It's as if it's so much louder all of a sudden. Okay, Papyrus, I am ready for our date. So he came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. Oh, um, I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Not moving. You're going back to your house, aren't you? My house. Oh, what is happening over there? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Where is Sans? I don't see him. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge me. That's always true. If you, if, if you enjoy something, never ever show it to anyone because it will suddenly be the worst episode ever. It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Sure. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Oh, well, why? That seems quite interesting. Welcome to scenic... my house. Enjoy and take your time. I did not quite understand that phrase, but that's okay. That's alright. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in my life. To get boned. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go and... do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Oh, not yet, Papyrus. Buy me a drink first, please. What is this? Is this the oh, oh, that's so pretty. This is a little kitchen. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry. I like that 
type of design, never mind. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Huh? It's a doggy. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. What, that dog just... Why would that dog... Why would they store bones? That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Aha, interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Alright, but why, why... Forget it. Why would he be storing bones? That seems quite disturbing from someone who consists of bones only. Anyway, let's take a look what he is smoking here. The door is locked. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave you to it. Let's go into your room and go about our business. Yes. Oh, look at your room. Oh, I have a race car bed. That's so. Why do you have st more bones? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. Your computer? The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Oh my. That book's one of my favorites. You might want to look... You might not want to look too far into that internet thing, Papyrus. You don't know what you're going to find. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites, Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag Nito? Undyne found it all the bay. At the bay. I think it's from the human world? Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> Well, in a sense, you're somewhat right. Ah, uh, yes, action figures. A great reference for their theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Oh, Santa. That's my bad. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Oh, of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Alright then. I thought that bet was gonna, you know, set something into motion there. There are no skeletons inside my closet except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Do I want to look in the closet? Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Right then. Now, what... So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Begin that date. I thought we were already starting, but dating start. What? Dating start. Here we are on our date. I have actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step 1. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Oh my god. Wow, I feel so informed. Oh, that is so cool. The <laughs> What's the egg doing? Why, why crime? I think we're ready for step 2. Step 2. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wow. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? 
Yes. Oh, I didn't mean I, I didn't mean to say yes, but that's okay. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. My date uh what? Yeah. yeah. Don't think you've bestead me yet. Attention. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can we clo wear clothing. In fact, I always wear special special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. What do you think of my secret cell? I love it. It's beautiful. No. A genuine compliment? Ah, oh, my date power is rising. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to spec that. I do not want to. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. This shirt didn't originally stay cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? M my hat? My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Let's open it. Do you know what this is? Your brain? Is it your brain? I have no idea. <laughs> That's right. You have no idea. Though this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't my... This ain't any plain old pasta, this is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Oh god, are we reaching the climax? No- Oh god, my date power is way off the grid. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I- Um- Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I, I, I don't like you the way you like me. Don't you friends own me like that, Papyrus? Not after this date. You insisted to go. Romantically, I mean... I mean, I, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match you, your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human. I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship and it would be tragic if anyone would find me with a child in my room. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true, but I'll help you settle for the second best. <laughs> I still don't know how to translate that laugh properly. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. Oh, the phone is actually useful. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> we're in your room, so we're... Well, that was enticing. Box of bones. 
The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Anything else? Clothes are hung up? No, I thought maybe he escaped into his closet, but that's not the case. Of many sexy robots. Only the sexiest selection. Uh... What about you? The door is locked. Okay, well, I guess that was our date with Papyrus. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. No, no, we've already been through this. Are you in the kitchen, Papyrus? I mean, you left, but this is technically your house. Oh, very well then. I guess I'll make my way back to the save point and end this episode here. I love the... I mean, I would have missed out on all of this if I would have just gone straight ahead. I mean, they have so many tiny little details and they they put it in there so well. But before I go on a rant about that, I'm going to thank you for watching. I'm going to leave a link down in the description if you want to play this game for yourself. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>